Let me run down a bunch of supplements. Basically, I just talked to Beatrice about these, but we'll do it again. Okay, ready? Yep. Okay, because you're dealing with sugar, you're going to want to reduce your intake of sugar. This is for anybody dealing with high triglycerides or high or elevated cholesterol, cholesterolemia, they call it, blood cholesterol. Uh, so, uh, chromium vanadium, the B-complex, especially niacin and thiamine, you'll get those in the Sweeties and the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. You might want to take a little extra niacin, time to release niacin, 250 milligrams a day. Magnesium, you'll get that in the Beyond Osteo FX, probably about 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams of magnesium a day. Zinc picolinate, superstar mineral for sugar, for building, for immunity, for hair and skin. It's just crazy important mineral, super cheap. Uh, deficiencies are very common, 50 milligrams a day, very important for blood fats. Uh, more fiber, also important, lots of ways to get fiber, salads, vegetable juices, grinding up uh, flax seeds. Again, as we talked about earlier, that's another great way to deal with, uh, to get your fiber. And then also omega fats can be very helpful for the sugar system, particularly omega-3 fats. Use your ultimate EFAs. I'm sure I'm missing some stuff here. Um, a taurine and magnesium, a taurine and arginine. These are two amino acids that can help you with your blood sugar system. Maybe I like arginine powder. It's a little bit less expensive and a little more cost effective than arginine tablets or capsules. Uh, maybe half a teaspoonful or a quarter teaspoonful of arginine powder. It tastes really lousy, so dilute either dilute it or put it in with a smoothie um, because it does taste really bad. Arginine does. Uh, glutamine can help you. Uh, maybe uh, half a teaspoonful to a teaspoonful a day of glutamine. Uh, coconut oil may be helpful, and then spices like cinnamon, and also an herb called fenugreek, F-E-N-U-G-R-E-E-K. Oh, I love fenugreek. Fen yeah, fenugreek. we use that a lot. That can be helpful for the blood sugar system as well. I think I said omega-3 and omega-6 fats, your ultimate EFAs are important. The whole healthy star pack is important. But think of it like a sugar issue. Triglycerides in the blood, elevated triglycerides and elevated cholesterol need to be treated as a blood sugar problem first and foremost. Now, you may also have some liver issues and some digestive issues, but that's a good place for you to start, Sharon. Okay? Okay, great. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Have a beautiful day. Thanks for your call. You too. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Irene in California, what's going on? How are you doing? Welcome to the Bright Side. Irene? No, Irene. Okay, I'm going to let you go. Go once. Okay. I did the thing again. All right. Hang on, Irene. Irene, you there? Hello? Hey, Irene. Sorry about that. That was me. That's What's okay. going on? Um, I've been taking the BTT for about six weeks now, and I really like it. It's, it's great. Okay. Um, but I also bought the colloidal minerals, and I'm not quite sure how I should take those. Capful uh, as often as you want. I like putting it in with a little bit of uh, warm water and making a kind of cider with it. But you can do a straight capful. You can put it in water. You, if you like, you can put it in a smoothie. It doesn't really matter. They're completely benign, non-toxic, and you'll get wonderful mineral value for it. You can mix it in with your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, too. Oh, okay. So I, Because okay. I, I heard you say something about some you know, nutrients you take with water and others you take with No, fat, this one so doesn't I, matter. Colloidal doesn't minerals matter. are easy to process. No, no issues there. All right, okay. thank you so much. Sure, thank you. Uh -huh. All right, so let's see. Got lots of calls now all of a sudden here. Let's go to Lisa in Michigan. What's up, Lisa? Welcome to the Bright Side. Thank you. Hi. Hey. Um, I have, I'm 45. I've been dealing with an eczema condition for about the last five years. And okay. um, I've seen a number of doctors. So I've been listening to your show for a little under a year. So I'm, I'm doing many of the things that you, that you recommend. Okay. I'm taking the um, Beyond Tangy tang Tangerine. Okay. I take the enzymes with my meals, probiotics, vitamins D, E, A, K, some alpha lipoic acid. Okay. How about your EFAs? Where's your EFAs coming from? Um, I'm, I'm doing nine of those a day. Okay. And vitamin, and vitamin C. Okay. And I've so here's... Done an, go ahead. ahead. Okay. Say, here's the I've thing. done an elimination diet, and it was kind of inconclusive. Oh, well, no, that's not good. It's got to be conclusive because that's where your problem probably is. Eczema is a sign that the immune system has been activated. There's inflammation in the skin and cells are not growing correctly. That's what eczema is. Now, that inflammatory process that's keeping skin cells from dividing and growing correctly can be related to nutritional deficiency. And even though you're taking all those nutrients, you may not be taking enough of them or you may not be absorbing them. So it could be, it could still have, it's still, there's still, there could still be an aspect of nutritional deficiency that that's involved in the eczema. But first, I would want to know what's going on in your digestive system that's causing this inflammation, okay? So eczema equals inflammation, inflammation equals defense, defense equals digestion. Yes, it's true, you could be injecting something in your blood and, or you could be breathing something, but for the most part, defense equals digestion. That's just like a mantra, 
All right, defense equals digestion. Inflammation equals defense. Defense equals digestion. So okay. an inconclusive food diary isn't helpful, Lisa, sweetheart. Right. You got you to conclude. <laughs> you can't be inconclusive. You're only halfway. So get, up, get back on that food diary. Even if, uh, when you get a flare-up, here's an easy way to do it, Lisa. When you get a flare-up, backtrack to what you ate, okay? Or fast, and then you'll notice when you get a flare-up fast, and when you notice your symptoms resolve, start eating again and wait for your flare-ups to go up again. So you're going to experiment. You're going to be like a scientist with your body. Does that make sense? Yeah. Look for Look for flare-ups. When you get a flare-up, see what you, uh, keep track of what you ate, and then see what you ate right before the flare-up. Or fast, and then when your symptoms subside, then start eating again, especially eating foods that you love and that you, eat and that you tend to eat a lot of, and watch what happens to your skin condition. If it flares up again, you'll have a connection. You need to make that connection. Now, I'm not saying the nutritional deficiencies are not involved because you still might not be taking enough probiotics. You may not be absorbing your zinc or your vitamin A. You may not be absorbing your vitamin D, for that matter, if you have an intestinal problem. You see what I'm saying? So it yeah. still could, there still could be a component of nutrition. One last thing, get out in the sun. If you notice that the sun makes a difference, you'll know you're having a problem with your fats and your fat metabolism, especially if you're already supplementing with vitamin D. So if the sun makes a difference, the sun's presumably making a difference because it's stimulating vitamin D in the skin, and that would mean that when you're not in the sun, you may have a vitamin D problem or a fat metabolism problem. Think about the digestive system, think about mm -hmm. fats, and also think perhaps about the specific nutrients that you mentioned. Maybe you're not taking enough of them, okay? Uh I can ask you one question. Um, of course. So yes. I, I do take the, um, I started taking apple cider vinegar with okay. all of the supplements. That'll um, help. Is it, is it the same thing to take the, the apple cider, I mean the cider vinegar um, tablet with meals? Mm. No, I'm, I, no. The, apples, the liquid's probably better for you. Okay. The liquid, you'll, your body will utilize it a little bit more effectively. Liquids are always, always, always more effective than pills and capsules and tablets. Always go liquid whenever you can. Okay. And I just okay. want to add one more thing, and then I know you got to go. Um, sure. So I, I, I went to see a specialist. He's supposed to be one of the top dermatologists in the country, and um, he told me that he wanted to put me on um, cyclosporine and cell stuff. Tell him Pharmacist Ben says you're a bonehead. And okay. I'm sorry. I don't mean to say that. That just makes me so angry. Cyclosporine is an antibiotic. Do you have an infection? No. So what's the what? what? This is Dr. Genius, best dermatologist in the country, right? And he puts you on an antibiotic for your... All right, I didn't mean that. I apologize. I hate being mean to people. It just makes me angry. Thanks for your call, Lisa. Appreciate it. Okay, thank All you. Right. Yes, uh, I, that's just, uh, I'm telling you. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thank you for listening, friends. Check out my website, PharmacistBen.com, BrightSideBen.com. Sorry if I left you on hold, by the way. Got to call in earlier. Sometimes these lines just fill up really, really fast. All right, we're going to talk hormone health, and we'll talk DHEA next week, and we'll talk about 7-Keto DHEA, a specialized form of DHEA. It'll minimize your side effects. Thanks for listening. Have an awesome, spectacular, wonderful day. We'll talk to you later, folks. Bye for now.